Well, let's look at uh, what's the difference between depression and grief? Because there's a lot of similarities and they look a lot alike. Um, in both instances, it's very common to have sadness. Now, you won't necessarily have all of these with either one, but it's very common. These are definitely indicators. Um, you can have physical pain. Grief can make you physically hurt, just like depression can. I don't know if you're aware of that. Now, I realize if you've got health problems, you may already be in a lot of pain, so once again, it might be hard to tell, but um, don't be surprised. It, it can be one of the indicators. If you have a loss of interest in things that you used to really find pleasurable, that can be either depression or grief. Um, fatigue. There's lots of good books out there on grief, but I don't think any of them really emphasize how tiring that is after a loved one dies. I know what your experience has been, but um, I've just seen that to really wipe people out. They're just any little activity and they're exhausted. It takes a lot of energy to do very simple things that normally we might, you know, just do like that, but to go take a shower might take two hours or something, when, you know, usually it's a 15 minute <laughs> thing, but that's the kind of thing. Um, if your concentration is poor, once again, that can happen with depression or grief. And then sleep and appetite disturbances, that's where it can swing either way. Um, you may be eating everything in sight, hence the word comfort food. <laughs> or you may not have any appetite at all. And those are both common with grief and depression. Also the sleep, if there's one thing I could get everybody to do in general, much less when you're grieving, is to make sure you get good sleep. Uh, people often will say, oh, I can get by on three or four hours of sleep. But that's like saying, oh, well, I can get by on half the oxygen I need. You know, you really can't. Just because you can get out of bed and function doesn't mean you're functioning well doesn't mean you're coping well. And you can't get by on half the oxygen you need and you really can't do very well on half the sleep that your body needs. So definitely get your sleep under control if you're having trouble with that. So those are all the common things that you might have with depression or grief. Now with depression, it tends to be feelings about inside of you and your self-worth, whereas the grief is about just coping with what's going on outside of you. So for example, if you have thoughts or if you know of somebody who's having thoughts like, I'm such a burden, everybody would be better off without me. That's a sign of depression, that is not grief. Grief is more like, how am I going to live without my husband? That's grief. Why did he have to die? He was such a good man, or if it's a loved one, you know, why did my child have to die? They were an innocent, or your grandchild. That's, that's a grief, because that's kind of about, you're feeling bad inside, but it's not about yourself, it's about the situation you now find yourself in. So that's kind of one way to distinguish depression from grief. Mm -hmm.